<laughs> okay, stiff way. Stiff way. I look like Justin Bieber, like a black Justin. Oh. And welcome back to my channel if it's your first time tuning in then hey girl how you doing I'm Claudia I do videos on beauty fashion and lifestyle vlogs so if you are into any of that you're definitely at the right place I hope you do decide on staying subscribing and becoming part of the family and if you are a returnee a sabi honey then thank you so much for stopping back by so today's video is quite exciting it's something really new on the channel something I've never tried out before it is an unboxing as well as a week try on from Shein yes you heard me right wigs from Shein I'm sure a lot of you might have not known that they also sell wigs now if you are a regular degular on the channel you would know that she's a lover of all things beauty and I thought of ways on how to spice it up here on the channel how to bring back the fun and I thought what better way than to try on some wigs affordable wigs now if you are a regular on the channel you would know it's not my first time shopping from Shein I do have two three videos on the channel where I shop from Shein for like clothing accessories home and beauty room deco then I do also have a video where I shop for makeup from Shein it's a three-in-one where I do like an unboxing um, a tutorial and then I also give you guys the full review also in one of those videos there's full-on details on how to shop from Shein the customs the shipping fee and so much more so I'll leave all the links to those videos in the description box do check that out if you haven't but do that right after this video because this is gonna be fun so this time I'm doing a wig try on and I got myself five or six weeks to try on with you guys now just a disclaimer these are not human hair wigs meaning there's no tinting no bleaching of any knots no dyeing no highlighting or whatsoever as these are synthetic wigs now I know with synthetic wigs I can expect some shedding tangling and even that a plastic shine from the wig or from some wigs at least however I also know that you can get really good synthetic wig that can last you a long time if taken good care of I also know that you can use medium to low heat to straighten or to curl the hair Then I also know of synthetic wigs that looks really good even better than human hair wigs So I don't have high expectations when it comes to the synthetic wigs However, it was so affordable I thought why not try it out and share with you guys and let's just have some fun Like I mentioned I do have a full-on video where I share with you guys uh, what the process is when it comes to shopping from Shein And I also mentioned in that video. I'm not gonna do that anymore I'm not gonna go through that again in any other of my future Shein videos however I did have like a little sit back when it came to this parcel I don't know if it was because I was way too excited that this happened to me but it has nothing to do with Shein it is more so from our logistics company and I'm gonna get into that by the end of the video so let's just start out with positive vibes and with that being said let's get straight into this week try on now like I mentioned I got myself um, six five or six weeks I'm not sure they came in this package here this was um, an order that I placed for my babies where I got them a few outfits and I thought let me just throw in like at least two or three weeks all this weeks was under a 300 rands so I thought why not and let me just try it out now that I went back onto my Shein app I saw much more cuter weeks that I added to my cart and I'm definitely gonna be trying them out even though I haven't seen this ones yet I know I'm still gonna get myself some new so when I picked out the wigs, I didn't pay too much attention to what I was getting. I was just like, let me add this last minute ads and then checked out. So I went for different wigs, different colors, different styles, you know, variety. Because if you know me personally, you know I love being able to switch up my look. So these are the wigs that I got, each package separately. So I decided to get some color because we are approaching summer. So I'm just gonna grab my phone and and I'm gonna go through each week. I'm gonna pick them up um, randomly. Every hair piece that I'll be trying out today will be linked in the description box orderly for you to check that out. All the weeks retailed under 300 reds. I'll put up the initial price of each piece as well as what I ended up paying after I applied my discount code. Okay, so we're gonna start out with this one. 
its color and this must be the natural ombre long curly wig so they also have this net to protect the hair um, from tangling even more Ooh. okay and it also has this thingy on the inside to keep the structure of the wig now i'm going to show you what the wig looks like on the inside this is the natural ombre long curly wig on the inside you can only see the tracks there's no lace at all and then it also has the um, adjustable strap at the back for you to secure the wig even more then you also see the parting is an actual silicone um, mimic of a scalp or whatsoever and in the front it is a little bit bad made um, however that's the color of the hair it's a ombre blonde hair and then it is 68 centimeters long which is 26 inches I'm gonna insert um, the picture of what it looked like on the website I will say this looks much more lighter than the picture on the website I did go for the shade brown however this is a little bit too blondy um, but I'm not mad so let's go ahead and try on this wig <laughs> okay um i hate how the front is like right here it's super super bulky and it just doesn't look realistic it gives it more of a fakeish look if they could just have this a little bit much more flatter maybe it would look better but do you see the silicone scalp or the fake scalp oh okay let me just quickly brush this where's my brush okay the shedding that i spoke about it's expected because it's not real hair Ugh. um okay so i have the wig on I'll definitely say the color is a little bit too bright for me for my skin tone at least I feel like I look like a doll and also this is way too bulky Do you guys see that maybe if it was a bit flat it would have looked nice okay but the hair looks nice I didn't adjust the cap and it fits perfectly I feel but yeah let me stand up so you guys can see the length so it's right on my boobs so yeah this is week number one um, I love this brown color right here and that it's also down here however the ends is way too blonde for me um for my liking i don't really really like it that much i don't think i'm gonna wear this out i might just take some pictures in this but yeah this is week number one let me know what you guys think about this week in the comment section um but i don't think it is my style i don't think it is meant for me the color at least and this also need a lot of work so yeah but there's no lace to like go in and plug and i also don't think they give you enough like scalp fake scalp you know that's how much you get you guys see that make the parting a little bit more realistic and um whiten it out a little bit but other than that the color is cute or whatever maybe just not on my skin it's giving Beyonce but it's not quite there yet do you get what I'm saying the color just doesn't do it for me on my skin tone but it might look much more cuter on somebody that's a bit lighter but if you are my kind of melanin and you love um, lighter wigs you love blondie wigs this might just work for you baby but for me <laughs> 
I don't think it's doing it. So yeah, that's it from week number one. The second week just says synthetic week on top and it comes in a Ziploc bag. And let's see. Okay, this is a black one. Which one is this? Okay, I remember this one. I actually purchased this one and there was no reviews on it. So I'm a little bit scared, okay? But let me just give you all the details of this one. This is called the Natural Short Straight Wig with Bangs. And if I can remember correctly, I went a little bit overboard with the bangs. Not that I know if they look good on me, but they are much more realistic than the actual ones with the middle parting or whatsoever. Because like you saw with the first one, it has like a bulky middle part. So with bangs, you don't need to stress about that. Okay, so let's see this one. Oh, she cute or whatever. Okay. So it has a bank as you can see and it is a bob wig. On the inside, it's also the same like the first one. It just has this um, wig net on the inside. Also has the adjustable strap. And then just there in the middle, it has this um, silicone piece that gives you a natural knot or whatever. Um, they did probably did that to make it look a little bit less bulky. The length of this bob wig was 30 centimeters, which is like 11 inches. <sighs> Let's just adjust her and then we're gonna brush her out a little bit. Let me just get out this blonde hair. Ooh. Okay. It's over my ears. Let me just get this off. Ooh. <laughs> Not too bad. Okay. This is actually cute. I look like my mom. Like, huh? Stiff wear. Oh, bam. Yes, yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Stiff wear. Stiff wear. For real, stiff wear. Stiff wear. Oh, oh, no way. Well. No. Okay, so I actually like this one. I like this one. I do. I like the length of it. It looks really cute. I didn't think it was going to be this um, short. And I also didn't think that it was going to look good on me or suit me. But it actually looks good. I don't know. What do you guys think? Does it suit me or do I look Bob Mummy ish? I don't know. But yeah. This I actually like and the fact that it is flowy and not that stiff for a synthetic wig, I like it. I actually like this one. I have nothing bad to say about it. This is how the bag looks like. Okay. Baby. <laughs> I think we should do like hit or miss. So week one, I would say it's a miss for me. But week two is a heat, definite heat, okay? So far, I'm not that disappointed, but let me not talk too soon and let's jump straight into week number three. This is week number three. I see a little bit of color. And I think it's also a bang. No, I might be wrong. Let me just get this off. Oh! <laughs> I see this. I see this one. So this is called the One Piece Natural Short Wig. It is 24 centimeters, meaning nine inches. And the picture on the website, it actually looks really, really mushroomy on the top. But I still wanted it because it gives me more of like a pixie cut and I want a pixie wig. So 
um, I'm hoping this doesn't look that bad as it does on the website so let me just adjust the strip at the back because I can already tell that the cap is a bit big and let me pop on this wig <laughs> If there was ever a black Justin Bieber, that's her. I hope I have this on right here. Yeah, I do. So this is the back. It's much more flatter. Oh. This gives me grandma vibes. Like my grandmother loves this type of wigs. Oh my god, no. No, I was not expecting it to be this. <laughs> This, I don't know how to even style this. Do I style it like this? How do you? Okay, and this I think comes behind my ears. This also gives me like the Beatles. If there was ever like the black Beatles, this would definitely make the cut. I just need to figure out how do I comb it. Okay, I'm gonna pull it back a little bit because I feel like this is way too long. Sometimes love comes around and even knocks you down. Just get back up, but even knocks you down. This is definitely a Carrie Hilson cut. Okay, there's no way this is not that hairstyle she had in. <laughs> you can't tell me this is not. Why did I even get this wig? I don't know. Okay, so. I think you just need to play around with it a little bit. This looks really bad. <laughs> okay, child, this is what I ended up with. This is the most that I can do at this point. I feel like I can just shorten this out a little bit and then um, maybe like play around with it and kind of give it a pixie kind of look, but it's quite full by the ear side. So this also needs some trimming down if I want to get it like to look like a pixie as you can see the back is nice and flat period one thing that I love about a synthetic wig you can actually just go in and cut down without feeling bad that you are um, cutting too much I love that the bang is flowy do you see that it's flowy baby it's stiff wear <laughs> stiff wear baby it has potential um, I feel like it does have potential I just need to figure out how to style it and not look like a granny so yeah this is week number three moving on to week number four and as you can see we have more of a red burgundy ruby whatever color this is um and i'm excited to see how red actually looks on me so let's try out this wig Ooh, she's red red this is called the natural long straight wig it doesn't say the color it is um 75 centimeters long and that means it's 29 inches we have inches okay so it also has this on the inside it's also a middle part oh my god i've got hair in my mouth also has this on the inside um the net then you see the tracks the adjustable strap and then it also has this middle part which again is quite bulky up front and this is just how long the hair is and the color Ooh, this might just look really good on my skin so let's try her out oh if this is her one she's a straight one it's already tangled giving black Ariel baby <laughs> if only Johnny test had a black sister okay <laughs> okay so this is week number four so this is how long she is right underneath my boob okay 
Okay, so the color doesn't look bad on me. Okay, I can say that it doesn't really look that bad. It is out there, she's loud, she's out there, but she is kind of giving. You know, she's kind of giving. And since it's summer right now, what better way than to come through with color? Once more, the middle part or the parting is the exact same like week number one, which is like really bulky and gives off that wiggy vibe. Um, however, I do know that I am gonna go in right here and make it look more natural. So yeah, this is her. She looks cute or whatever. I love the color. Um, I love the length of it. I love the volume. She's nice and full. She's really full, um, but she's not heavy at all. So yeah, this is her. This is how cute she would look with a, a scrunchie on, like tight bag baby i do know that with long synthetic hair you can expect a lot of tangling you would most probably want to tie it back um maybe braid it down you know and yeah just keep it intact she's giving what she's supposed to give so yeah this is week number four to let me know which one is your favorite as we go along and what you think about each week and let's jump straight into trying on week number five On to the last two weeks i'm really excited for both of them um because i kind of like them more than i do um like the others well i liked the pictures that was on or that is on the um website so this is week number five this is called the natural straight week with bang so this one has some brown net inside with the tracks it does have a fake scalp again with that silicone this one is 36 centimeters which makes it 14 inches long and right off the bat i'm in love with the color i love the color okay so let's pop this on and see if she's giving Ugh. Where do you go? This side. Okay. Mm. Oh, this one is really smooth. Like, look at my brush. Like, it falls through. You know, the hair just. Ew. The hair just falls through it. Okay. Ugh. I'm gonna pull out some hair that's in the way. Okay. Just tell me stiff way. <laughs> stiff way. Okay, she is flowy. She is beautiful. I love the color. I actually like the color. I dig the color. Oh, this is a cute color, baby. This is a cute color. I love that it's brown here up top and then, you know, it's giving the ombre beautiful brown goldy <laughs> vibes and she's coming through is she not she's coming through i love this wig love the color i have nothing bad to say other than the shedding of course but okay <laughs> this beautiful this is what the bag looks like guys look at how flowy she is somebody be calling me i'm like oh hi hi <laughs> say my name say my name let me know what you think about wig number five i also love that the bangs are not that full Moving 
on to week number six now this one is my ultimate fave from all the other weeks well at least from the pictures that i saw on the website um this is called the natural short wig with bangs again another one with bangs and she came in different colors like in a variety of colors which i am about to pick up okay i'm about i added them into my card like different colors this definitely screams summer vibes this gives me grown a boss like let me stop talking. let me let me pop on the wig and then we can continue so i got it in the color black and it has like a few highlights in there as you can see like brown strips in here and i hope she's giving like she is on the website oh it's the same like the others the silicone piece to give it that scalp illusion so let's pop her on and see don't disappoint me <laughs> okay let me just adjust this you who are you Steve guys she is giving what I expected from her what she was supposed to give I love this wig this gives me grown woman type of vibes this is like a grown woman bob wig like everybody needs something like this like there's no way I love the highlights in it I love the bang um, I pulled it back a little bit because the bangs are a bit long so yeah it's a bit back and then I can just work on this so it's not that high you know but other than that she is flowy she is light she is beautiful she is curly she's got highlights she is given okay let me not do that but she is giving I, I'm not sure if you guys can see that she's actually giving Oh my word, do you see that? A rock star mommy. <laughs> so yeah, I love this. This is the last week. This is week number six. Imagine having this in different colors because if I'm not mistaken, they come in a blue, they have it in a purple, they have it in burgundy, they have it in a brown, they have it in a jet black with no highlights. This is just a perfect summer pop wig with bangs okay so yeah this is stunning i'm gonna be getting her in different colors i'm excited to try out like the blue you know the purple the red like just have fun this summer you can have her looking like that as well you know okay i love her i honestly love this but let me stop to let me know in the comment section what you think about her ladies and gentlemen and that is it you guys this is the last of the eight weeks that i tried out from shein i hope you all enjoyed this video like i did doing it for you i feel like synthetic weeks are more like your grab and go type of weeks because there's not much that needs to be done especially if they are like bangs there's not much to be done you literally just pop it on and you're out of the door so if you're somebody like myself who loves being able to switch up your look some days you feel more like you want a glamorous look you want a laid-back look you want a mommy look you want a corporate look then going for a synthetic wig is literally going to give you exactly what you want you want volume if you want a different cut a different style a different length when it comes to human hair that can get really really pricey but when we talk about synthetic 
This literally cost me less than 300 rand. And if I'm not mistaken, after applying my discount code, I actually ended up paying 100 and something rand for each week. Now that is a bargain because first thing that I can tell you from Shein Weeks, there's no shine, there's no plasticky shine. It does look like human hair. It is not shiny at all. Um, it is flowy, stiff wear, baby. Like I mentioned, stiff wear. And they are literally like, putting synthetic wigs right up there because they're bringing different styles like I mentioned different colors different lengths so I'll definitely recommend settling for synthetic wigs this is gonna last you a good amount of months if taken good care of I do know that when it comes to synthetic wigs you need to use cold water or cool water to wash your wigs and use like fabric softener to cleanse it and you all know on this channel we are all about affordability so i thought i'm not gonna miss out on this opportunity to share with you guys affordable hair pieces um, that looks natural that looks real okay and that gives you what you actually want from human hair but that you can't afford because personally i can't afford that so yeah and this is it you guys i hope you all enjoyed this video once more all the hair pieces that i tried out will be linked in the description box so do check that out i'll attach the links orderly from how i tried on the wig so do check that out now before we end of this video i just quickly wanted to run through um, my experience this time around with shopping from shein and what happened with customs because i was really excited to bring this video to you guys but it took me an entire month to get my order like my parcel was stuck in customs for a whole month so let's get into that so I initially placed two orders meaning I had two parcels parcel A and parcel B I placed parcel A's order on the 7th of September and parcel B's order on the 9th of September now the reason I placed the orders like that I thought that I was gonna be saving and I would maybe just pay uh, customs for one order and also after seeing parcel A's order got shipped out I went ahead and I placed parcel B so the 7th and the 9th and then on the 10th day after parcel B's order was placed Buffalo Logistics sent the customer duties for parcel B however I for some reason didn't go through my email that day because I was also not expecting to receive customs duty a day after placing my order you know so then on the 11th of September I received automatic voice calls from the logistics department telling me that I have my parcel or my parcel has arrived in the country and that I need to check my emails where they sent me and my invoice or whatsoever um, and that was for parcel A I then checked my emails and I saw the invoice for order A and I paid it via the website link that they provide and I'm gonna insert a few clips my baby's having conversations I'm gonna insert clips on the side so you guys could see what I'm talking about they sent me um, uh, the invoice and there was a link that says payment option via website so I did the payment via that website okay and it went through so order A's parcel was paid okay on the 11th of september for some reason i still didn't see that i received my invoice for parcel b then on the 13th of september i received three emails i i saw it was from buffalo logistics so i figured it was for order b obviously or parcel b and when i opened it it says um i kindly pay 9151 rands okay and then a next order whilst i was still busy checking that order a next email came in I had to pay 10,269 and then a third email came in I had to pay 13,700 rands am I crazy am I stupid huh and I'm like 13,700 rands for an order that is 1,631 rands am I stupid am I dumb <laughs> so I then decided you know what this is an error i'm gonna call them so they can correct it and send me the actual amount that i'm supposed to pay for parcel b so i then bought my credit i called them multiple times do you know how hard it is getting through to buffalo logistics oh my god i even sent emails i even sent whatsapp messages 
I couldn't get through to them. That day went by and then the next day, which was the 14th of September, I called them again multiple times. I finally got through to their customer service. I told them what I received, the invoices that I received, and they admitted it was an error and that they would send me the correct invoices. I got an invoice that said I had to pay 194 rands. I received three emails again from Buffalo Logistics that says, Dear client, we apologize for previous email. The amount is incorrect for this order. Correct total amount is 137 rand. I already paid 194 rand 20 cents. So I then thought, okay, no, it's fine. They're gonna notice um, that I already made payment. I, even though I paid an extra, I think 50 something rand. Few days passed and my orders are still in transit or in customs so i thought let me call and ask if they've received my payments or whatever or what's the hold up i called them again i struggled getting through that entire day the next day i called i tried calling again i was on hold then finally i got through to a customer service consultant and i explained that i got confused with all the different emails that i got so i ended up paying a little bit more was that is that going to be a problem she's like no it's cool as long as you paid for your orders she was like why don't you send me an email um, where with the proof that you paid both parcels and then just add payment not updated in the subject line I did that I sent her through she told me that she's gonna put it through and then she's gonna get back to me days went by she didn't get back to me so I called again I was like did you get my email it was a different consultant that I spoke to. I explained everything to her again. She's like, okay, I can see all the emails that you exchanged with one of our consultants. Um, I'm gonna, please do send that to me through as well. And I'm gonna do a follow up. I sent her that as well. She didn't get back to me. So I sent consultant one, the first consultant, an email. I'm like, I'm still waiting um, for you to update my payment because I'm waiting for my parcels because I already made a payment days back, okay? and that's how it went on i spoke to a third different consultant i had to send her proof of payment again it was an ongoing thing you guys i kept on calling every second day or third day to ask about my parcel because i already did payment what's the hold up and they are like they, are, they only have one person that works with updating um payment so i just need to be a little bit patient and stuff like that and i'm thinking to myself okay probably because of us influencers that a lot of people are out there doing online shopping or shopping from Shein or whatsoever and that's why there's a little bit of a backlog or whatsoever so I'm chilled I'm waiting days went by still no update finally I decided I'm gonna send all three consultants emails the exact same email so they can update my order because I'm getting frustrated at this point so I sent them the emails I got an email from customer service themselves saying that I shouldn't send a lot of emails like that because um, that's just giving them that's just putting them in another setback as they are already busy um, sorting out a lot of parcels so I waited and waited then finally on the 23rd of September that's when parcel A's a payment was updated and then on the 27th of September that's when they sent it out literally from the 12th of September or from the 11th when they sent me the invoice until the 27th that's when my order was sent out it only got delivered end of September the 30th of September from 11 to the 30th of September they had my parcel the entire time okay cool finally my parcel got delivered moving on to order B now I'm struggling here. What's happening now? Why are they not sent out the same time? Why are they not sent out together? It's for the same person. I'm struggling with my order B payment not being updated. I sent multiple times proof of payment. This got stretched out way too long that they later informed me that the proof of payment that I sent um, they can't use that I need to go into my bank and get the proof of payment where their account number reflects now mind you I did payment via the link that they sent so I told them why should I do that if order A's payment went through it got updated and I did order B's payment the exact same way either ways I went to my bank I told them everything my bank told me since you did the payment through the EFT through the link that they provided their account number doesn't reflect you have to add them as a beneficiary onto your app this is now Capitec Bank onto your app and then make payment that's when we can see the account number now in Buffalo Logistics eyes this means I didn't do payment when I showed them exactly I did payment on the 11th and I did payment on the 14th okay 
What happened to my money? I still don't know. So now I'm back and forth with Buffalo Logistics. I later then decided to email Shein and maybe they could somehow figure a way out or show me, tell me what to do. So they gave me an option. They told me I should send them the proof of the payment. I send it, I send it to them. They told me that they were sorry to hear that. But one thing about, one thing I should say about Shein, they are top notch. When it comes to responding to helping their customers, they are up there. Like she and response on time, they literally try to help you. So now she and sends me an email. They're like, um, they can see that my uh, order is outside of the time frame. I'm, t I'm, I'm talking to one of the consultants, and she's like, the only thing that you can do at this point is just pay the customs. As if I didn't pay the customs, I paid the customs. I have this proof, this one. So I can either decide to cancel the order, and they can resend me the exact same order or I can cancel it and they can refund me into my actual banking account or into my Shein wallet, whatever way I prefer. I'm thinking, should I cancel this order and like get them to send me out a new order or get my refund and place a new order with like more wigs <laughs> or do I just pay the customs fee now and let it be? I ended up paying the customs fee again. I paid 137 rands this time and immediately after that my payment got updated but this time i did it by adding them as beneficiary because i wanted proof that i did pay them mind you the order arrived on the 13th of september how many days you calculate buffalo logistics pretty much you robbed me of my money it's 194 rents 20 cents only but i could have gotten another week with that money like they robbed me of my money because i did pay customs yeah that's what went down however she and did brighten up my day a bit by giving me 50 percent from both the customs fees that i paid they refunded that back to me i told them to put it into my sheen wallet because i'm going to spend that on another order so yeah guys that is the end of this video i hope you all enjoyed it i do apologize if you heard a lot of the background noise the babies i'm literally with both of them right now so I do apologize for that but thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did kindly give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already as well as hitting that notification bell right next to it so you can always be notified once I do upload a new video also do leave a comment down below do let me know which of the six weeks that I tried out was your personal favorite or do you see yourself rocking also let me know if you would like to see me do more week try-ons because I really enjoy this it's more like a dress up play dress up while it's literally just wigging up okay so let me know in the comment section if you would want me to do some more affordable synthetic wig try-ons once more the links to the wigs that i tried out will be in the description box so do check that out don't forget to share with your friends and your girlfriends so we can grow together thank you once more so much for watching do stay safe and i'll see you all in my next video